Hong Kong has reported the first confirmed case of a COVID reinfection. A healthy man in his 30s contracted the infection four and a half months after recovering from the disease. Researchers at the University of Hong Kong now have used a genomic sequence analysis to conclude that he was infected by two different strains. Scientists say people infected with COVID-19 do develop an immune response system which protects them from contracting the virus again. But it remains unclear as to how long the immunity lasts. The World Health Organization has warned against jumping to conclusions based on the case, though, of one patient. Joining me now is Dr. Kelvin Kai Wang To. He is from the University of Hong Kong and he joins me on the show at the moment. Your research, uh, Dr. To, has pointed to a, the first documented instance of reinfection. It sparked off fears that there could be many such cases out there. Is this just the tip of the iceberg that I get, uh, I recover from COVID and possibly get reinfected by a different strain a few months later? So thank you for your question. Um, first of all, I don't think uh, reinfection should cause a panic in the public. Um, I think, I believe that we, we found the first case of reinfection and I believe uh, there, pro there is probably more in reinfections out in other places. But for example, in our case, the patient did not have any symptoms at all during the second infection. So one possibility is that patients who have the second infection may be milder than the first one. And so I think for the general public, uh, we should not be panicking about this reinfection. But the importance of our finding is that we have to realize that uh, patients who have recovered from COVID should not be uh, thinking that they will never get uh, infected again. So I think there's a first point. And second, so they should still uh, uh, practice social distancing measures and wear a mask uh, um, if, if they, uh, if, I mean, to, in order not to uh, transmit viruses to others. Um, so I think this is the point. But what happens, doctor, then to the whole notion of immunity? When, let's say, a few months from now, we get a vaccine, I take the vaccination, is the vaccination going to be the guarantee against reinfection? So uh, first, we have to know that the immunity from vaccine is very different from natural infection. So in the recent vaccine studies, the antibody titer and the cell immunity is actually very good, even after a few months. So we are not certain yet, but probably vaccine can induce a better protection than natural immunity. But we, at the moment, we don't know how good our vaccine is protecting us from getting infection. The results should be out in a few months with all the phase three clinical trials. So that's the first point. And secondly, we don't know the duration of immunity after vaccine. And uh, these data will be coming out in the near future. So because right now, even the earliest vaccines that have undergone trial is only a few months. So we don't have long term data yet. So for vaccine studies, uh, long-term data is very important. Dr. Toh, appreciate your joining us. You've tell, told us there is no need to panic, which is important. Thanks very much for joining me.